Hi everyone. So I'm going to be using Clinique's uh, Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And then I'm going to throw things on the floor. <laughs> then I'm going to try kind of two different scrubs. So I was going to kind of hold off on that turmeric because I've ordered some more turmeric products. But <laughs> I'm just going to use it and try things out because I just want to try those different things out there. Uh, just because like Christmas is starting to, like Christmas is here, guys. Um, and all that craziness. So if you like to kind of shop early, like if you got your Christmas shopping done already, good on you. Uh, I just need to finish up like a few more people because going to the mall during this time is not fun. Like you have to be like, during the day when no one else is there because going to the mall on the weekends now, like, oh my God, someone's going to hit my car or me, you know, and you're like, nope, you have to stop for a pedestrian in a parking lot. Don't be going 80. Um, but I digress. So I am going to try, uh, Felucian's turmeric brightening polish. See how that one goes as well as the all oh, uh, skin <laughs> I like Henrix or Henrix. I don't know. Ah, I'm so bad. I'm just like, um, I know it's pronounced some kind of funny way. So this is their poor balancing, uh, facial sauna scrub. So I want to see which ones kind of work best. So I'm just going to kind of uh, go in with my oil bomb. I'll kind of wash my face, come back, try the cleansers and then wash my face. Uh, if I was better at life, I would do it in here, but I just have too much of a mess to get it all wet and that. So I'm just going to apply this. Oh, makes that oh is itchy. There's a little piece. So just make sure when you're doing any kind of removal of your makeup that you're not going too harsh, like just lightly go. I don't try not to do fish face. <laughs> right? Like I always find like makeup kind of sticks like that under eye and that mascara is sometimes hard to get up. So it's okay just to kind of run over those eyelashes. Apply it kind of everywhere just to lift off any dirt, any grime. So I'm going to wash this off and I'll be right back. So I think it did a good job taking off my makeup. Uh, I'm going to go in with the turmeric. So I'm supposed to massage this on for two minutes. So I'm just kind of taking... Kind of like a larger blueberry size amount. I don't like when it doesn't tell you the times. Like some of them need just like standard. Instructions is what I would like. So it says like use like rub it on your damp skin. Ooh, it's warm. This one's definitely, like this one feels a little bit more finer. This one definitely smells like a little, you, well, you, <laughs> you, 
eucalyptus. I'm saying that wrong. I can normally say that word. Eucalyptus. There we go. E. Maybe you like that turmeric smell a little. And like the warmth from this one is kind of gone. So it's not really an intense warming one. So I like, I don't mind that. I would say don't use a warming mask after doing a peel. That was a little tingling. Right? And you just want to make sure you're going light. You don't have to press hard and always circular motions. So this one feels like it has more, uh, like more exfoliating. This one's kind of similar to like that St. Saint, Saint Ives, like uh, their peach kind of scrubber. Just in that feeling. This one like feels like sand. This one's more like, you know, like, uh, I think it's supposed to be ash, but it feels more like seedy. But I think it's volcano -ness. I like it. It good as that goes. So this skin better be beautiful. So I'm going to wash this off and that and hope for like no dry spots. Nice refreshed skin. So coming out. My skin feels smooth on both sides um, and whatnot. Like they're both like really nice, I think. Um, I feel like my pores look a little bit smaller on both sides. There's not really any dry patches. Maybe a little bit more drying on this side. Uh, and that was the old Henrik's, right? but like nothing bad, right? Um, and that, so, like I would use both again. Like I really do feel like both of them, my skin feels softer than like other ones that I've used before. Cause I've kind of like done, like even from peels, like that exfoliating felt really nice. So. I think either one of these products are really good. And definitely, I think for skincare, look for some of those smaller samples of things, right? Find a product that you really love and then maybe buy the larger one. Then being like, okay, I want a facial scrub. Let me buy like a large size. Like try and look for those kits. So definitely Sephora is really great for them. But Christmas time is coming. That's where you can get some really great values for things. And it's not like these things really expire. Like once you open them, then you kind of have like 12 months, right? If you follow that, sometimes I don't, right? The only things that I feel like really do actually expire that I've noticed ever is kind of lush products because they don't have so much preservatives in them. And it's like not a bad thing that uh, happens, but sometimes I do feel like products are going to last so you can kind of stock up during Christmas and then have everything purchase it at a good deal and then have everything to use um so let me know if you think you know of the world's greatest scrub because I really do like trying out different skincare out there and seeing what's out and about there thanks so much for watching guys I hope you have a great day bye